here we go with a video lesson on our third objective of the gas laws. Uh, this is the ideal gas law, PV equal nRT. So every one of our equations will talk about PV equal nRT, PV equal nRT equation. So I'm going to just kind of uh, get my board ready here with objective three, practice test C. We understand that pressure times volume is equal to the number of moles times the ideal gas constant and the Kelvin temperature. Let's make a note here just to be darn sure that our test taking formula tool page gives us everything we need for this particular equation. For instance, we know pressure, pressure comes in three varieties, doesn't it? It could be measured in a kilopascal, it could be measured in an atmosphere, and most commonly in the laboratory setting is a millimeter of mercury. You might also see that written as Tor. The R constant, of course, we have to match the unit that we are measuring pressure in. If our problem is giving us pressure in a kilopascal, the R constant we use is 8.31. If indeed the pressure is given to us in atmosphere, it's 0.0821 for R constant, the decimal place, 0821, and then for millimeter of mercury, it ends up to be 62.4. So anytime you are using your pressure unit, you also are being given the R value as well. Make sure that you know we must have Kelvin temperatures. Make sure that you know these volume units must, must, must be in liters. N stands for the number of moles of the gaseous quantity. Now keep in mind, moles is equal to grams over molar mass. A round little buddy for this, probably on your test taking tool, and if not, get it there. Grams divided by molar mass, formula weight's a word I often use for that, molar mass is equal to a mole. And of course, this is the N in our PUVNERT. So a second variety of looking at PV equal NRT, if PV equal N, and N is indeed moles, we also know we could represent the number of moles as grams over molar mass. So every one of these problems is some kind of derivation of this ideal gas equation. PV equal nRT, PV equal gram over formula weight, RT. Let's do a read through on our first problem. We have a rigid steel cylinder, 1250 mLs. So I know that's got to get converted to a liter. Fluorine gas measured to 1.75 atmospheres, 35 Celsius. How many grams of fluorine does the cylinder contain? How many grams of fluorine? Well, I know that there is no g in a Pouvnert problem, so I know that hidden in the n variable is the target, the number of grams. So problem number one, I like to get my Pouvnert parentheses ready. That way when I'm reading my story problem, I can automatically put into the correct spot the number. PV equal NRT, get your parentheses set. 1250 mLs was the first number. Of course, that's 1.25 liters going right there for the volume parentheses. We have fluorine gas. Fluorine is a molecular compound. Fluorine, I know, is 38 grams. I know that the atomic weight of fluorine is 19, so doubling that gives me 38. Ultimately, I'm trying to solve for the number of grams of fluorine. How many grams of fluorine are in this number of moles? So for the n variable, I'm just getting myself ready. n, there is no g in a pavinert, but I know that hidden in the number of moles is that target variable. Keep reading, we have 1.75 atmospheres, so not only do I have the pressure unit, I know the R constant, August 21st, 0821, and 35 Celsius for my Kelvin temperature is 308 Kelvin units. So we see the numbers provided, we see our target variable, the target right here, the number of grams. Let's rearrange to solve for grams. I'm going to just bring the 38 over, 1.75 times 1.25 times 38 is equal to G times R times T. This is all done on your calculator. Divide both sides by the R and the T constant. And 
And of course now we've canceled those and we divide both sides and we can pull out the number of grams. Grams can be found by taking the pressure. Hit this with me please. Hit it with me. 1.75 Whoops, clear screen, 1.75 times 1.25, our volume for liters, times 38. That's the molar mass of molecular fluorine. Divided by parenthesis, 0.0821, the R constant, times the Kelvin units of 308. Close parenthesis, and the number of grams, 328.72. Whoops, I put my decimal in the wrong spot. Well, let me rewrite that. 328.73 grams of fluorine. Process this. We just take a moment and make sure you've gone through the steps. How did I pull out X grams of fluorine? When you're ready, go on to number two. Second problem, we want to find pressure, target is in millimeter mercury, given 15 grams of hydrogen, 24 Celsius, and we're in a 1700 milliliter vessel. I'm going to go back and just get my parentheses ready. I just like to do it that way. Here's my PV equal NRT, PUV equals NERT. Now that you read your story problems, plunk in that correct number for the, ver the uh, variable. We're looking for pressure. We have to end in millimeter of mercury, so now I know my gas constant, 62.4. Gotta match the pressure by correct R. Next number is 15 grams of hydrogen. Well, really, that's giving me the N, the moles. 15 grams of hydrogen set over its molecular mass of 2. That's my formula weight or molar mass. 15 halves is the number of moles of hydrogen. Let's leave it right like that in the parentheses, grams over molar mass. Temperature was 24 Celsius, 297 Kelvin units. Oops, I had a dyslexic moment there. 297 Kelvin units, and we're looking for 1.7 liters, remember that was an ml in the story problem, but we have to convert it to a liter, 1.7 liters. Let's solve for pressure. Ready? Calculator sequence, hit this with me. 15 halves, 15 divided by 2, times 62.4, times 297. Now let's divide out the 1.7 liters, and we'll have our pressure. 81, whoops, I'm in a funny group there. 81, 762.35. 81,762.35 millimeters of mercury. That's an extremely high pressure. Keep going. Number three. Number three wants to know volume. Sorry, a volume of 100 grams of krypton. It's a molar mass of krypton. 145 Celsius and a pressure of 10.3 atms. Let's get our parentheses ready. I'm going to need to Google mogul mass of krypton. I don't have a periodic table in front of me. Uh, Linda, spell it right. Krypton molar mass. You see it? Ah, uh, there it is. 83.8. 83.8. I didn't know that one by heart. Sorry. All right. Number three. Puv equals nert. A hundred grams of krypton. 83.8, the molar mass of krypton. See what I've done? Grams over molar mass is the n variable, the number of moles. We have 145, but really we had to add 273, so that's 418 Kelvin units for my temperature. 8, 11, carry my 1. Pressure is 10.3 atmospheres, so I now know the R constant must match 0.0821. 
we'd like to know the volume. Of course, volume will come out in liters. So start with the right-hand side, side without the variable. 100 divided by 83.8, there's my molar mass of krypton, brings me to the mole number, times 0.0821, times 418 Kelvin units, divided by the 10.3 atmospheres of pressure. And volume came out to be 3.98 liters. Number four. What's the temperature in Celsius when I have three grams of oxygen exerting a pressure 1.2 atmospheres in an 1150 ml vessel? Alrighty, here we go to work. I'd like to get my Pivnert parentheses ready. PV equal NRT. Plunk in the numbers as you see them. First number is three grams of oxygen gas. That's the number of moles given to us by dividing grams over formula weight. Molecular oxygen is 32. So three setting over 32 represents the number of moles of oxygen. We have a pressure of 1.2 atmospheres. So it gives me my R constant as well. 1150 mLs is required to be in a liter, 1.150 liters. We'd like to know temperature. Alrighty, so temperature will come to us in a Kelvin unit. Then we'll just simply subtract 273 and we'll get our degree Celsius. So let's start on the side without the variable first. Follow this with me on your calculator. 1.2 times 1.15 divided by, we're on this side. Now this is parenthesis. I had to put this in a parenthesis, but here's a second parenthesis. So this is what I'll do. I'll hit a parenthesis. I'm going to hit another parenthesis right in a row. So I've got double parentheses on my screen. 3 over 32, close the first parenthesis. Times 0.0821, close the second parenthesis. And we'll get the Kelvin temperature. Kelvin temperature I'm finding 179.29 Kelvin units. It clearly asked for Celsius. It's going to be cold. Take out the 273 and you're back to the Celsius is negative 93.71 degrees Celsius. One more in this page, number five. How many moles? It's the N in a pavnert. How many moles of a gas? 250 mils. Pressure 108 kPa's. Cold temperature, negative 50 degrees Celsius. Let's get our Pivnert parentheses ready. PV equal NRT. As you read the number, put them in the correct spot for the parentheses. How many moles? Okay, my target is the N, the number of moles. 250 mLs must be converted into a liter, so 0.25 liters. Pressure 108 kPa, so that's 8.31 for the R constant. Negative 50 Celsius, 273 minus 50 gives me 223 Kelvin units. Solve for N. Key sequence, start on the side without the variable. So 108 times 0.25 divided by parenthesis 8.31 times 223, close your parenthesis. The number of moles, 041, oh, I'm sorry, 0145, oh, let's round that to be, well, should we say 015 oh, moles of a gas that's not identified. So there's our answer. We cannot label it. It didn't tell us the, what the identity of the gas. Hey friends, you just su successfully puv nerded. A plus, give yourself that feeling. When ready, go on to the next objective.